Let's create a custom mask using a script called Mask Maker. This script requires you first to save three files that are called Mask Maker 1, Mask Maker 2, and Mask Maker 3 as presets. That means that at one point you will be asked to select one of them in the presets here in a toolbar. The preset that you are going to be using and be prompted by the script will depend on the actual paint shop version that you are using because they work in different ways. So to start, you open an image and you create a shape in a vector format. So I selected here my ellipse tool, created a circle on an image. My image was 3000 by 3000 pixels. And so this is my shape, and I will start by running the script. The script will arrange different layers to work on separately. Because of the version I'm using, I'm prompted to use Mask Maker 3 preset. Then I'll choose the brush tip that I want to use around my shape and the size and step. So I click OK. I will go and select Mask Maker 3 because that's what I was prompted to use. Then I'll use the Snowflake brush tip and the size that looks good. The step I'd like to have them pretty close together so I'll put about 50% for the step and I will now run the script again, not touching anything else. Now, do I want to have some brush impressions inside, outside of both? So it will determine if I want to have those snowflakes, in my case, outside or inside or both. I'll choose both. And do I want to add a blur to the base shape? So right now my shape is has a very sharp edge and I guess I will want to have some blur. And I can decide to have more impressions if I want, but I don't want any. So this is going to be no, I'm done with this. And now I have a mask. So if I want to add this mask now to an image, since it is a different shape, my round mask will be turned oval on this case, but it's okay. So on my image, I will go and have layers, new mask layer from image because it's not saved yet and the image was image 14. And what I want to do is block the black so I'll use the source luminance and here is my image. And if I wanted to add a background I could add a new raster layer I will pick a color, maybe that blue, flood fill this layer, and now I will move it at the bottom, and I have my mask used. Of course, I can see that the snowflakes were a bit squished because it's a different shape. It would be different if my image was square, just like I started my image here. But at this point, what I can do is simply save this image as a JPEG and I can use it later for any other project. And that is how I can create a custom mask using the Mask Maker script in PaintShop Pro. Have fun!